Guys, it's the first time I've done this kind of video because relatively new channel, I haven't actually had the opportunity to get my own hands-on experience with the timepieces I am talking about in this video. But every single watch, apart from two, which you'll understand in a bit, I'm being silly, um, all the watches in this video I have owned personally and I've had for long enough to give you my recommendations or not. But every, every watch in this video, I actually recommend, and I'm gonna quickly run through the pros and cons and the little things I've noticed that you need to know that are worth your attention to whether to commit to buying or not. Now, I'm doing this because this part of my channel is about promoting extremely good value watches. I like to mix it up. There are gonna be watches that I do which are a lot more money, or I'm hoping to do more from micro brands, things like that. But all these watches I've got on my little list here, they are all, uh, let's have a look. Yeah, Chinese watches. And they're from AliExpress, you saw from the thumbnail. So as is the common courtesy with these, I have set up affiliate links with all these watches. So I'm gonna be as honest as I can be about these watches. And if you do decide to buy any, just click on the links in the description. It takes you straight to the watch at the price that you see here but it can fluctuate, depends when you watch this video, of course, I'm releasing this today, so you never know when um, the prices change, but there's a sale on at the moment. This is the right time to get these watches at their disgracefully low prices. So yeah, the prices are fantastic. They, they're often very good anyway, but the prices for some of these are even better, and some, I can't even believe they're making any money. They must be just trying to get rid of old stock. It's ridiculous. So I'm gonna crack on with this list. And I'm going to start with the Caddison. This is a very popular watch, the C1032. The price with it on the steel bracelet is only about two or three pounds more than the one on the leather. But I'll go for the one with the steel bracelet because it's a decent solid bracelet with solid end links. So it's 40 pounds and 24 pence for a classy dress watch. It's a decent size, it's approximately 40 mil case size. It's got a very good Seiko NH36 movement. So you've got the day, the date complication. Sunburst silver or black dials. And the quality is unbelievable for the price. I really was impressed by mine. And it's a no brainer for the money. Everyone should have one that for this price. It's a throwaway watch almost, but you, you own it just to look at it and think, 40 quid, how is this possible? It is possible. It's got it's all polished. You can change the strap out because of the case. Um, it's quite a, a neutral design and the dials are quite neutral. You can put this on loads of different kinds of straps and it works with so many different kinds. I've, I've done videos with this on different straps as well. You will be blown away. So that's number one. Number two is the Starking AM0184. They do two models. The one I recommend, which is the one I've owned, is the one which actually has a high beat movement. Um, and it, I know maybe in a year's time it might explode. Who knows? I, I very much doubt it. But I have found it with the steel bracelets. They again do this on a leather strap. Don't get a leather strap. These prices, I don't think it's real leather, even though they say genuine. I don't know what animal they get it from. So don't listen. Get the metal, then you can change it to a nicer strap yourself. And the AM0184, I found it for £35.78. £35. That's insane. For a solid steel watch, it's beautiful. The finish, the fit and finish is even better than the Caddison. And it's a classy design. It's a neutral dressy design, but you can dress it down a bit with a game with a leather strap. It's incredible. I, I can't say anything more than that. For that money, it's, it's a game changer for many people. Many people have reviewed this. It's been reviewed a lot. I mean, the top two watches I've discussed are kind of game changers for what you can get for your money from China, it's incredible. Now, third choice, I've gone for the Pagani GMT. Uh, the code name I'll put with the picture here, but it's known as the GMT, and they do a few different colorways and bezel, it's mainly the bezel insert. I did as a giveaway for my, when I hit my first milestone, I, I found I was incredibly proud of was the 500 subscriber giveaway. I gave my GMT I bought away. So Stefan, if you're watching this, hope you're still enjoying the watch. I know he is because he's um, we follow each other on Instagram and he he still enjoys the watch. And that's, that says a lot because it is a fantastic watch at any money. But it's obviously mind blowing at the current price at only 63 pounds and 33 pence. 
I mean, this has got um, a Ming's U movement. It's a GMT movement, and I found it came very good time. Sapphire crystal, ceramic bezel. They've improved the bezel insert where the contrast between the blue and the black didn't bisect the six on the bezel, which is uh, correlates to three o'clock on the dial. Uh, it didn't bisect perfectly in the middle of the six, so they've effectively improved that. Um, the bracelets, the usual Pagani affair, they're okay. But the general fit and finish, etc., is acceptable. Again, especially at this price point. And it's an attractive 40 mil sports watch. It's a gorgeous watch. Now, moving on to number four, we've got the Caddison Date Just, I call it, but its code name is C8053. I recommend this. They've just another disclaimer, they have improved and changed the incorrect typo on the dial. It did. They the first ones that were released, which one I had, had 50 ATM uh, water resistance on the dial, which is totally wrong. It should have said five. 50 is 500 meters water resist, which obviously it doesn't have. A substantial dive watch has 500 meters. So they've, they've readdressed that spelling error. So if you were to get one, that shouldn't have that. And um, the thing I was impressed with this watch again is the spec and the fit and finish, especially the fact now you can get it for £49.54. I paid 55 for mine, but for less than 50 pounds, it is incredible. Again, you get um, a seagull movement, you get very nice fit and finish, you get a sunburst dial, you get um, obviously a date complication, you have it's all stainless steel construction, including the bracelet. The bracelet, again, is one of those things that, um, jumping back again to talking about the Starking and the Caddison, and then this, all of them, they're bracelets. If they don't, they don't have micro adjusts. So like they could potentially be a bit too big or a bit too small for you. But again, for this price point, you can just swap it out if it just doesn't fit you very well. At this price point, you can budget a few pounds, 20 pounds or even less for a really nice leather or even on sale at different retailers for a stainless steel bracelet, things like that. There are options is what I'm getting at. So get the watch you like. And if the bracelet isn't quite uh, correct for you, you can do something about it. So again, I recommend that because for that price, it's fantastic. And then number five, which is the last of my more normal considerations I'm going to recommend to you. And then I've got two silly ones and one bonus. Okay. So number five is the Bugani Chronograph Sport. They've got different colorways now. But this is a beautiful watch. It's a lovely size, just under 40 mil. It's got a um, Seiko Mecha Quartz movement, so it's really accurate. It's got a mechanical sweep when you're using the chronograph function. It's got genuine 100 meters water resistance. And by that, I mean, it doesn't mean it's going to go down 100 meters. It's great for just general sporting use. I swapped the bracelet on mine out for a nice sailcloth and I've taken it to the beach and enjoyed it. It was good fun. And I actually sold it for more than I bought it for. I'm going to admit that. And because people don't like waiting ages them to come from China, because sometimes they do. I mean, I generally, on average, for all these watches, some of them, Caddison and Pagani are the quickest. Um, Starking took ages. The Caddison I got within within a week. Starking took like a month. But Pagani, those two, they came generally a lot quicker. Uh, Caddison are really good. I don't know how they do it, but they, they seem to get their watches over within seven days to 10 days from China to the UK. I don't know about the rest of the world. You guys tell me how you find buying experience. Now, the, um, so I've covered the Daytona. I recommend it again for the price. It's good fun. It's great spec. It's got the usual ceramic, sapphire, decent movement. It's pretty. Legibility isn't great um, on, on the colorway I went with, which is in this picture. And yeah, it's fantastic. Now I'm moving on to Two silly bonus ones. I'm only putting these in because I'm an idiot. And <laughs> I was realizing, I didn't realize watches of this value are on AliExpress. So just check these two out. This first one, that's considerably more than I own in a year. And then um, here's the next one, which is more than I'll probably ever earn in my lifetime. And it's a Seagull watch. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, but if you want to buy one, please do, because then I could. Um, I can get far closer to buying that island I'm trying to buy. I don't know which one yet, whatever one I can afford. Um, something bigger than just a, uh, you know, a little tiny desert island would be nice. 
Now, got those two silly ones out of the way. I do apologise. Got to try and keep it lighthearted, guys. I'm trying to spend your money here. Um, the bonus is I haven't done the video yet, but I have got the watch and I have had experience with it. I just haven't had time to release the video yet because trying to have a, a job, raise a family, make 11 million videos, all the prep work, everything, it's really hard to get all the videos out at the same time. So I apologize, but this is still worthy of your attention. It's been reviewed already. I wish I got it out first, but it's, it's, if you've got a bigger wrist, this one is the Cadison C8179. Uh, for some crazy reason, they're doing it for a very, very good price at the moment. Uh, I'll put the price up here because I need to double check it because I wrote down here, my bonus, bonus Cadison, £46.55. I paid £20 more than that. I'm really annoyed. Um, maybe they're not selling very well, but I don't know why because the fit and finish is breathtaking. Honestly, for the money, it's, it's unbelievable. But unless you've got a big wrist, this is a 45 mil case size. And my dad's got an eight inch wrist and it didn't have to take any links out. It fitted in perfectly. So it's kind of a niche watch. But if you want a big statement watch, it looks a bit like a Audemars Piguet, uh, Piguet Royal Oak, uh, which obviously it doesn't. It's kind of an homage. It's about 20 grand, 25 grand cheaper. But it's, it's a crazy funky watch for less than 50 quid at the moment. So that's worthy of your attention. That's me done. First sale video. Hope it's been all right. I've tried to squeeze it into approximately 12 minutes. And if it's been interesting and you want to buy and spend all your money, you can buy all these watches, apart from the ones that are stupid money. You could spend a few hundred pounds and, and have, a, have, a, have a decent collection. But if you don't want to have a box full of Chinese watches, just buy one and treat yourself. Just like I did. I've just bought all of them. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.